It was so good though when I ate it. It was so good. I haven't had sugar in a very, very, very long time. I'm all hopped up now. Hi, I'm Coco Kisslinger from Coco Bakes, and I'm here to show you how to make my fudgy chocolate vegan brownies. You will surprise anybody, and they won't even know they're vegan. And we're gonna need three tablespoons of water, one and a half tablespoons chia seeds, which is new to me, is great and gels up kind of like an egg would. And we're gonna need half cup coconut oil in replacement of butter, one cup sugar, three quarter cups gluten-free flour, half a cup applesauce, one and a half cups almond flour, half teaspoon baking soda, which isn't typical in a brownie recipe, but it does help the rising process since you don't have the eggs. Half teaspoon salt, and of course, three quarter cups or 10 ounces of bittersweet vegan chocolate. First, I'm gonna go over and turn the oven on to 350 degrees. And then I always like to line my pan first, so I have my parchment paper in my pan. I always like to oil it so that the parchment paper sticks to the pan, so if I have to smooth out batter, it stays that way. It stays in its form. So now I'm just gonna push down into the corners and try and smooth it out as much as possible. Make sure it sticks to the sides. Pretty simple. And next, we're gonna make the chia egg because that has to sit for about five minutes. So to do so, we put our chia seeds, in the bowl, and then we measure out our water. It's gonna be three tablespoons to one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds. So we'll just let this sit for about five minutes. And while it's sitting, we're gonna go melt our chocolate and our coconut oil together. And you wanna make sure that you get every last drop of coconut oil, or else I would have put less in the recipe. And to melt this, you're gonna put it on bain marie, which is just like a boiling pot of water and you'll just let it sit there on low heat until it's melted. I don't really have a time for it. You just kind of let it sit until you see it's melted. And while that's kind of simmering and melting together, we're gonna come back and mix all of our flours together. So we're gonna put the almond flour. You can use cashew or almond or hazelnut, whatever you have available. It gives it a little bit of body and a better texture. And the gluten-free flour together. And you can use just like a store-bought gluten-free flour. They're all pretty much all-purpose. So we're gonna put the baking soda in. I'm just gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix this together just to make sure everything is smooth and evenly incorporated. We're gonna go check the coconut oil and chocolate mixture now. And don't forget your spatula. So it looks like it's starting to melt. I can hear the water boiling under it. You wanna make sure that it's not too hot because you don't want the chocolate along the sides to burn. And also be careful if you're stirring over, you might burn yourself. Chocolate's ready, so we're gonna bring it back over to the station and turn the stove off. And so now we're gonna add the sugar, the vegan sugar. And then next we're gonna add all of the applesauce a great replacer for a kind of fudgy, silky smooth feeling. Then we're gonna revisit our chia egg and see how that's doing. And you can see it's kind of gelled and goopy and a little bit gnarly. You're gonna put all of that in here and mix it all together. So now you have your sugar, your applesauce, coconut oil, chocolate, chia egg in here. It's gonna be a little goopy and it's gonna go into your flour mix. Ow, the bowl's really hot, damn it. It's gonna go into the flour mix. So I started making these vegan brownies when um, I had customers come up to me at a farmer's market and tell me that they demanded vegan brownies. I mean, I guess that everybody should be able to eat what they want, especially if you're vegan or gluten-free. Whatever you are, it shouldn't make a difference, and that's why I started making this. It's chocolatey, it's fudgy, it's delicious, and it's pretty simple. So now the last step is to pour our batter into the pan. So we'll just dump it right in, and I have an eight by eight pan. You can use a nine by nine. You might have to decrease the bake time by maybe two minutes. So instead of 37 minutes, it'll be 35. I'm just gonna spread it out. And if you want, this is a great time in the last step when we mix it all together to add any sort of nut you want. You can add like about a quarter cup of chopped nuts, maybe a half a cup if you're really into nuts. 
And that's it. I'm gonna put this in the oven now, 350 degrees for 37 minutes. It's been 37 minutes and the brownies are done and it smells so chocolatey in here. So this is what they should look like, a little bit sunken, a little bit dark around the edges and just smell amazing. They need to cool for about an hour and a half until they are completely cool to the touch just because if you don't let them cool, they will crumble. They're vegan. The brownies have been cooling for about an hour and a half now. If you just can't wait to bring them out of the pan, go ahead and cut it in the pan. So you can choose the size you cut it into. I'm more of like a big brownie girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and cut it as best I can into a third and then in half again and try and get it out with my spatula. And if you've cooled it long enough, it should come out in one piece. Let's see if I did. Amazing, it looks fudgy. It smells so good. Here we go. I'm just gonna pick it up. Oh my God. There's chocolate, there's sugar, it's gooey. It's delicious. Go try it. And for the recipe, click on the bubble.